when it comes to Mario Kart games, we will always have that love-hate relationship to them. Sometimes, there will be Mario Kart games that we love so much, we spend over 1,200 hours playing. Yes, I have played Mario Kart 8 Deluxe for over 1,200 hours. This makes it my most played Nintendo Switch game. But what if I were to tell you that there's some things in Mario Kart that don't make a whole lot of sense. I went through every single Mario Kart game from SNES to Tor, minus the arcade games as I have never played those, and found 56 things that makes no sense in Mario Kart. If this video sounds a bit familiar to you, I did two parts with this in Mario Kart Tour a couple of years ago. However, I want to cover them as a continuous whole in no particular order. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell, and without further ado, let's get listing. In Mario Kart Tour, Rosalina's Ice World is an area that is very cold, which I get it is taken in space. But if this was real life, areas like this can spawn the Northern Lights, also known as the Aurora Borealis. However, Aurora Rosalina is not a top shelf on any variant of Rosalina's Ice World, even though that she has the freaking Ice Flower as her special skill. Baby Rosalina looks nothing like the young Rosalina that was found in her storybook in Super Mario Galaxy. Most noting that the storybook version of Rosalina has strawberry red hair. On certain tracks, you're able to drive underwater. Like, how is the vehicle still operating underwater? The engines should have been flooded and your vehicle would be toast. The water in Koopa Cape looks like natural spring water, which means the shockers in Wii's version of Koopa Cape should have electrocuted the racers the moment they touch the current of water in that portion of the pipe section. A horse is a bike. Waluigi Pinball is in Mario Kart 7. However, Waluigi is not in the game. This. The anti-gravity portion on Hyrule Circuit. You can drive in space without spacesuits. Rob, a non-Mario character, is a character in Mario Kart DS, which is a game that has no DLC involved. Birdo is in Mario Kart Wii. Excluding the me, Mario Kart Wii's expert staff ghosts don't have Birdo on any track in the game. So why add her in the game if she doesn't have expert staff ghosts on any track? In Mario Kart Tour, Berlin Byways and Los Angeles Laps had scrambled route numbers. Like, how did we know that this was going to be the second route for Berlin, and this being the third route for Los Angeles, when this was the first route added to Tour, and this was the second route added to Tour? I actually made a meme about that when Los Angeles Laps 3 was launched in Mario Kart Tour. Here it is. This red ramp on Donut Plains 1RT. The Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Jukebox only plays the normal laps of the tracks, no front running or final laps. Which means, we won't be able to hear the front running version of the normal laps of Madrid Drive Stadium, nor the Madrid Drive Museum, both final lap and final lap front running in the game. But its music was found in the files. Mario Kart Tour. Yes. You heard the name right. Mario Kart Tour doesn't let you start out as Mario. Wii Daisy Circuit, being the third track of the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pass Acorn Cup after DK Mountain, doesn't make any sense. Super Bell Subway, a track with no anti-gravity, didn't appear in one of the two cat tours in Mario Kart Tour. And if you probably knew by now that in order for Mario, Luigi, Peach, Toad, 
Bowser, Rosalina in Super Mario 3D World, plus Toadette and Mario Maker 2 to appear in, the, in their counterparts, they need the Super Bell power-up. The name Super Bell Subway is a dead giveaway. This tour. The Daisy Me outfit in Mario Kart Tour is the only outfit with a different skill item than Human Daisy, with it having triple bananas and Daisy herself having heart. And speaking of the Daisy Me outfit, the Daisy Me Amiibo was launched on November 4th, 2016. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe was launched on April 28th, 2017. We could have gotten the Daisy Me outfit on Mario Kart 8 Deluxe's launch, but we ended up waiting until after Wave 6's launch. In the Mario 2023 tour, we were introduced with the Spike Me outfit. However, Spike himself is not playable in Mario Kart Tour. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe's version of SNES Battle Course 1's music is in for all Mario Kart Tour battle maps, including the city maps, despite two things wrong with this. SNES Battle Course 1 is not in Tour, and the city maps already have their own style of music already in the game. And just like with Hyrule Circuit, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe's version of Koopa Cape's pipe section is all anti-gravity, to which doesn't look like anti-gravity. GBA Bowser's Castle 4 and Tor doesn't have a trick nor reverse trick variant. Similarly, with 3DS Rock Rock Mountain, one of the very first tracks in Mario Kart Tor, doesn't have a reverse trick variant. The Blue Falcon, Mute City, and Big Blue are all F-Zero based content, but excluding the amiibo for the me, Captain Falcon, the main attraction of the F-Zero franchise, is not playable in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. There was no team rally involving Mario vs. Bowser, but just some lame-ass multiple repeats of Mario vs. his brother and Peach vs. her kidnapper. A couple of skeletons can drive. Inklings, Link, Villagers, and Isabel, not being Mario-related characters, are playable in 8 Deluxe, despite them being DLC. Similarly, Tanuki Mario and Cat Peach, despite being DLC characters in the original Mario Kart 8 game, aren't in the same roster slot as normal Mario and Peach. However, Gold Mario, new to Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, is in the same slot as Metal Mario. And they both have the same stats, just like with Mario and Tanuki Mario, as well as Peach and Cat Peach. You can launch fireballs underwater. I mean, the fire will be put out in an instant. A couple of babies can operate a vehicle. You can drive in areas where there is lava surrounding the track. If this were to happen in real life, you'd probably die before you could hit land. The expert challenges in Mario Kart Tour don't give you a giant reward for completing the entire card, but instead gives you a lame badge, just a badge, as well as coins when you complete a row. The coin being an item doesn't make any sense. However, Mario Kart Tour has this exception. Piranha Plant Pipeline, a Mario Kart Tour Nitro track is not playable in the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pass, despite the whole concept of the Booster Course Pass preserving all Tour Nitros and City Tracks. You can drive on ice or snow without any problems spinning out. DK Pass, a snowy covered mountain, is the signature track of the Jungle Tour. A couple of dogs can drive. An overgrown weed with no eyes can drive. This pipe on the original Peach Beach. Sydney Sprint's route is designed to be on a boomerang, and I came up with that discovery a month ago. However, it is not in the Boomerang Cup. The Toad vs. Toadette Tour didn't bring in Mushroom Gorge, but came to Tour months later. There are two anti-gravity panels on both sides of the anti-gravity portion on GBA Boo Lake. Like, what is the point of adding an extra anti-gravity panel after the anti-gravity portion? 
it is completely useless. No other track has this feature. The Peach vs. Daisy tour introduced a character alt, but it was neither Peach nor Daisy, but in the form of Pauline Rose. Her introduction to tour didn't correspond well to a tour whose main focus was Peach and Daisy. King Boo, a ghost, is a heavyweight, despite the fact that ghosts weigh literally nothing. Also with King Boo, ghosts should be opaque in broad daylight. No one should be able to see King Boo. However, space tracks, ghost tracks, and nighttime city tracks are the only exception. You cannot switch items in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe when you have two items. And speaking of double items, where does the second item go when you grab another item? Squeaky Clean Sprint, a bathroom themed track, is apparently a place where you can do your laundry. That would be so awkward if you enter the bathroom to do your laundry and someone is using it. Los Angeles Laps went from sunset to tour to pure daylight in 8 Deluxe, the only city track that changes daylight settings. Now that I think about it, this actually makes sense because it reflects the environment of LA Laps because California is a tropical-like area. And speaking of sunset, Sunset Wilds, hence the name, does not have the sunset in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, which makes me rather have GBA, Luigi Circuit, Cheap Cheap Island, or Bowser's Castle 4 over Sunset Wilds. This peninsula on 3DS Rock Rock Mountain, like why would anyone go there? Why did it keep it in Tour and 8 Deluxe? It wasn't already necessary in Mario Kart 7. In Mario Kart Double Dash's time trials, you are maxed out with two mushrooms. Despite all the tracks, minus Wario Coliseum and Baby Park, have three laps. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe's version of GCN Dry Dry Desert has water. In Piranha Plant Cove, there are thwomps underwater. The way I see it, thwomps are made of stone which is super heavy that can crush anything that go underneath them. They should not be able to raise themselves up when they are underwater. One of Daisy's burnout haulers. And the final thing that makes no sense is people who confuse me with a long distance friend of mine, all because we have the same nickname. The reason that this doesn't make sense is because I retired from Mario Kart Tour back in the Doctor 2023 Tours rerun. And you can see my retirement video for proof. Besides, I would have the number 19 and it will go at the end of my username, not at the beginning. So there you have it. Those are 56 things that makes no sense in Mario Kart. I hope you enjoyed the video. Be prepared for more videos in the future. And I will see you guys next time.